powerful galactic beings, welcome back to another video. It should be underlined that Satan cannot force a believer to do anything. When someone sins, it is their choice to sin. It is not anyone else's duty. Satan can tempt people to sin, but he cannot make them sin. Satan cannot capture someone who is a believer. As a result, Satan is a defeated foe who will finally be sent into the lake of fire. However, he is still quite active in our world till that moment. As a result, the believer must take the necessary efforts to defeat this adversary. Some triumphs, some defeats. While believers are living in this world system and fighting the devil's attacks, they can obtain temporary victory. These wins are only possible because of faith in God. Though victory is always attainable, failure will occur on occasion if the believer fails to perform their part. Though these setbacks have no bearing on the outcome, they might harm a person. As a result, we need to figure out how to defeat the devil. The believer should take the measures listed below. Number 1. Recognize our opponent. It is critical that we comprehend our adversary. We need to know what he is capable of, what his limitations are, and how he operates. This can only be discovered through a study of God's word. Satan preys on individuals who are spiritually immature and uninformed. Number 2. Understand his techniques. We must also understand how the devil operates, we must not be naive of his ways. No advantage may be gained over us by Satan we are not ignorant of his devices. Number 3. Examine your spirits. Believers are responsible for testing the spirits. This is something we must actively pursue, we cannot sit back and do nothing. Number 4. Keep an eye on things. The universe warns us to be on the lookout for the devil's trickery. We must remain vigilant against his attacks. Number 5. When he comes, resist him. Believers should oppose the devil. Resist is to withstand or to stand our ground. Satan can be defeated if we stay firm. Number 6. Recognize weaknesses. Every human being is vulnerable in some aspects of their life. Satan is well versed in these areas. As a result, believers should be especially vigilant against attacks in locations where they are most vulnerable. Number 7. Not in our power. We should not defy the devil personally. We must respect his authority and not underestimate or exaggerate him. Number 8. Stay away from the situation. Believers should avoid any scenario that could lead to sin as much as possible, they should remove themselves from the source of the temptation. A temporary victory can be won by physically and morally removing themselves from a particular vice. All victories, however, are just temporary because temptation will always be present as long as we are in these bodies. Number 9. Put on God's full armor. By donning the spiritual armor provided by God, the believer has control over the unseen universe. The Amor is made up of spiritual truths that believers must wear every day. We can take advantage of these spiritual realities by regularly surrendering to the Lord and placing our faith in Him, for we are fighting a spiritual struggle. These facts are contrasted with the attire of a Roman soldier. The Truth Belt The Belt of Truth is one of our spiritual battlefield weapons. The Belt of Truth represents both the truth of God's Word and the truthfulness we should demonstrate in our daily lives. We must be concerned with the truth. The Righteousness Coat We are instructed to put on the breastplate of righteousness, also known as the coat of righteousness. This refers to doing what is right. Believers are now capable of doing what is right in the eyes of the Lord. The Preparation Sandals God's armor must also protect our feet. It is our responsibility to tell the lost that there is forgiveness of sin in the person. We must be prepared to go wherever he sends us. These people are reported to have lovely feet. The Faith Shield When the evil one attacks, faithful people have a shield. With all of these, take the shield of faith, with which you will be able to quench all the flaming arrows of the evil one. When we are besieged by fear and doubt, we are to put our faith in God's promises. The Salvation Helmet The Head Protection Armor the head expresses knowledge. 
We must comprehend that we have been given certainty of salvation because God will bring us through. While Satan wishes to keep believers uninformed of these realities and in constant uncertainty, God set them free. The Spiritual Sword The Offensive Weapon in the Believer's Armor Number 10. Maintain Constant Contact with God We are also told to pray to God all the time. Pray in the Spirit at all times in every prayer and supplication. To that end keep alert and always persevere in supplication for all the saints. Talking to God on a regular basis can assist to halt the devil's progress. We are also told to pray constantly elsewhere. For everyone born of God overcomes the world. This is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. Number 11. Take solace in God's promises. Finally, we must trust in God's promises. Satan has been defeated, and we have won. No testing has overtaken you that is not common to everyone. God is faithful, and he will not let you be tested beyond your strength, but with the testing he will also provide the way out so that you may be able to endure it. Any resources provides us with a method for dealing with the devil. Despite the fact that the devil has been conquered and will soon be put into the lake of fire, he is still actively propagating evil. I hope this video was really helpful to you, see you in the next video. Peace love and life.